Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back. I'm out here at the test spot with the Delta Force Vortex 34. Uh, we've been dealing with some prop walk issues, and uh, last video we put this little shim to angle my drive line a little bit uh, to see if that helped, and it, it really didn't help. But I actually took this extension block off when I tested the shim, so uh, I put the the two and a quarter inch extension block back on okay and we're going to test the shim with the extended rudder all right uh, my my speedmaster rudder should be here either this evening or tomorrow so we'll be able to test the new rudder very soon all right so uh if it don't work you probably won't see this boat until i get the new rudder in okay so uh let's go only brought one pack I got the 4514 oxygen prop on and my CG's back oh got a big patch of weeds I need to make sure I don't hit that okay so it walked out a little bit okay okay so the setback, okay, so it, it was the setback. It just spun out, but I did that because I wasn't lined up for a turn. Okay, it's actually running better. Still wanting to blow out, walk out, but nowhere near as bad as it did yesterday. So, you guys see what it just did? It wanted to pick up in my CG's back. Okay, this is the same strut position as I've been running. And she wanted to pick up once I got up to speed. That was probably the fastest pass I've done with the boat to date. Let me get you guys zoomed in. Okay, <laughs> that patch is messing me all up. So I told you guys I would do some strut positions today, some changes, and uh, we might just do that here in a second. I'm gonna do two more passes. I'm on a throttle, full trigger, full trigger. And it wanted to uh, dance and pick up. Okay, so that, that rudder extended off the transom has helped dramatically. It's past the prop, like, and it's helping but I think it's the rudder length. I'm on, I went, oh, oh, oh man, oh man. Let me get the tugboat. I'll replay that while I'm getting the tugboat out. I'm on, oh man. So that's why I was saying my CG forward so she don't blow off the water. That's that's why I was starting off with my CG forward, period. You know, uh, with the CG aft, she's gonna blow off the water. So with that longer rudder, we shouldn't have to move our CG back in the boat. It shouldn't have to be pushed back Right now I'm running my CG back so that the back of the boat don't pick up and my rudder, most of my rudder stays in the water. You feel me? With the extra weight back. So hopefully with the new rudder we can move the CG forward where I think it should be at. Uh, Yeah, those were actually some of the faster passes I've been able to do with the boat thus far. And with the two and a quarter inch setback on my rudder, it does make a difference. It does make a difference where your rudder's put. It makes a difference what hardware you put on your boat. It makes a huge difference. 
So I basically built this boat with the wrong hardware. You feel me? It's, it's built with the wrong hard, well, rudder. It's built with the wrong rudder. And sometimes when you build a boat, you, you, you gotta, you gotta play around with hardware. Yeah, as aggravating as it may be, pulling hardware, buying new hardware, sometimes you gotta do it. And that's what I've been doing. And it looks like, yeah, that's like the fastest this boat's going right there. <laughs> it's not even kicking out when I get on the throttle, walking out. Look, I, I'm, you see that? I'm getting on the trigger and it's not walking out. Okay, so the shim along with the setback rudder is, is helping. It's helping. You feel me? Full trigger. Just kicked out a little bit right there. So I really don't want to move the strut, but we will. Real quick, real quick. Let me go grab my tools. I didn't bring them. See what we can do here. Okay. All right. So it was wanting to pick up. So they were saying my my strut was too deep, but it was wanting to pick up with the back with the rearward CG. So um, I'm gonna push it up because you know a lot of guys were saying that it needs to go up. So that's what we're gonna do. Maybe, maybe a, uh, I don't know, um, maybe two millimeters, three millimeters at most. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm, I'm messing up my bench tune. Okay, now I'm kind of messing up my bench tune. And I just had the boat running right. It was running good, but I, I told you guys I would move my strut up. So that's what I'm doing. And I'm kind of curious to see what happens since the boat is running a little bit better today. All right, so I moved my strut up about two millimeters, maybe three. So that's gonna put more rudder in the water. You know what I'm saying? With the up, a little bit more rudder in the water. Mm. You see that? So my bench tune is on the money, basically. It was just the rudder setback, really. Okay, so the reason I put my rudder on the left side opposed to the right is I wanted it to kind of drift, like, like swing out, swing out in the corner. It's, it's kind of, I think they call it crab steering or something, crab cornering or something like that. But it gives the boat a different turn characteristic when you put the rudder on the left side opposed to, opposed to the right side, you know? So it handled better where I had it with the, with the level tunnel. It handled a lot better with the level tunnel. Right now, right now, the tunnel is basically like this. That's exacerbated, but my bench tune worked. It was just the placement, well, rudder placement to the propeller. So let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna actually drop it down just a little bit deeper. It's a little bit deeper, it looks like, than what I've been running it. Yeah, it really didn't like that uh, higher position on the strut. It really didn't like it. And the angle of the propeller, it could be, you know, positive or negative, just setting it up on the dock like this. But it actually looks like it's flat, so let's try that. 
That's a little bit lower than what I've been running it. It was running so good, I really hated to mess with that. So th this is about where I would like to run it. With the, with the, with the back of the boat up out the water, you know, so she's less prone to blow off. So I had that tune on the money, man. That tune I showed you guys on the bench. Yeah, with it lower, it's wanting to kick out. Like I said, I had messed around with my strut positions the first day I run the boat off camera, and I found that the position I have been running was kind of the better acting position, and that's about where I had it on my bench the first day. So I just set my tunnel level and been running that neutral position. And it's handling so much better than it did yesterday with that rudder forward of the prop. It's like a whole whole different boat. Like I said, you can get away with a forward mounted rudder of the prop, but uh, you know, all the stars need to align. <laughs> like on a rigger, you can you can uh, you could set the sponsons and everything. Like toe in, toe out, offset the tub on the sponsons, off center, and you can get away with it. But um, on these hydroplanes, everything's pretty much set. Uh oh, I might get kicked out of here, you guys. Yep, yep, yep. He might, he might jump in the water. I hope he don't. A, a lot of dogs will after this thing. I'm, a, I'm about to wrap it up. <laughs> oh, yeah. Running pretty good. A little bit higher strut works better than the lower strut. I'll have to check this on the bench when I get home and see if I have positive or negative position. Running pretty good. All right, I'm gonna do this one more pass and I'll bring it in. Wow, what a big difference setting the rudder back from the propeller made, okay? So that's about where it's at, where you guys are seeing it on the camera. The, the leading edge of the rudder is basically, basically in line with the trailing edge of the propeller. You feel me? So I just got back to the shop and uh, I'm just kind of checking where this strut, that new like lower strut position is in conjunction or relation to our tune we had on it originally. So I can already tell you the boat's like higher in the back just by putting the ruler under and yeah it's probably two millimeters higher or I guess lower than our original bench tune I showed you in the previous video at the end. So, um, so it actually, it actually ran good with the lower strut position. 
it didn't want to pick up like it did with that bench tune like remember how it flipped well not really to flip there was a couple instances where she would like pick up and like really dance i think uh i think the cg was a little far back because i was trying to kind of keep the rudder in the water but uh on this tune here i have some negative you guys maybe you could see it can you see the light under the, yeah you can the, the light under the forward part of the barrel okay so we had some negative on this last run and it was actually running good it was wanting to kind of swing out a little more than the bench tune but it didn't want to pick up and like dance as much as the original strut position at the beginning of the video so that negative will actually will actually flat I'm gonna flatten this out for our next run keep the height but flatten it out and see what that does when we get the new rudder now the new rudder uh, it's inch of 5h so that's basically set where we had it yesterday and the boat wasn't handling good so we may need to actually extend that new rudder out a little bit but the blade is longer so it's going to be interesting to see how the new inch of 5h setback works compared or compared to this one and if we need to we may Put a block on the on the inch five eighths rudder set it off two and a quarter and see what it does because I, I can actually get a two and a quarter inch base for that speedmaster rudder and we'll you know we'll kind of continue playing around until we get the boat running right today was actually the best the boats actually ran in a long time i think it had to do with the the shim and the setback so now you guys see how important running a rudder behind the propeller is okay uh on a hydroplane as far as i know on a oh i know on a hydroplane you can run your rudder on the left or on the right on a mono hull counterclockwise spinning propeller you gotta run the rudder on the right it's like rule of thumb basically on a hydroplane you could do it either or okay and it works fine either or I've got it offset two and a quarter inches off from center so two and a quarter from center offset on my rudder give or take uh, what was I saying so with it offset that much and it, it really it really needs to be behind the thrust from the propeller that thrust is kind of hitting the side of the blade okay washing onto the blade uh increasing our rudder uh grab in the water i think so if you're building this boat you're going to need the speedmaster inch and five eighths or, or two and a quarter inch rudder i definitely wouldn't build it with this i'm going to go back in well, i've already fixed the rudder uh link on my previous videos uh and 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 suggested the speedmaster rudder over the tfl rudder so i fixed that i'll put a note in the in my build videos that this rudder did not work so future builders of this boat won't make the same mistake i made okay but it's been a fun test experience it's been a lot of work kind of scratching my head all my comments have been very helpful very beneficial guys are really trying to help me i'm trying to help you guys and i just want to say thank you for all the great comments and recommendations i think we're kind of on the right path um so 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 picture this okay so pretend like uh pretend this boat was hooking up great okay and the rudder kicked up all right what does the boat do when the rudder kicks up it will prop walk out because there's no rudder in the water to to prevent it from walking out on you okay so that's basically what's happening with this one not enough rudder below the propeller propeller wanting to kick that back of the boat out we we brought the rudder past the thrust so it, it kind of washing onto the rudder blade and that's increasing our grip okay so next time your rudder kicks out 
on a hydroplane or a rigger, watch what it does. It'll 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 walk out on you until you get it back to shore. You put your rudder blade down, and then she's ready to go again. So uh, I'm gonna let you go. Video is probably long enough. Thanks for watching. Hope for this helps. We'll see you next time.